You still have some time left to enjoy a free fishing weekend. Pauline is live out on Lake Winnebago with more. Hi, Pauline. Good morning, Doug. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, everyone. We are out here and we're talking about, obviously, like you said, free fishing weekend for uh, beginning fishermen or beginning anglers like me who have never fished before. This is a perfect weekend to do so because you can go anywhere in Wisconsin and fish without a license. But before you head out, there are some things you need to know about the ice. Don from the Otter Street Fishing Club is here with me to explain. So Don, you guys kind of pave the roads that people fall out into ice, right? What we do is, you know, and there's a lot of fishing clubs around the lake, and uh, we think we're the best, which we are. <laughs> but <clears throat> all my crew, the crew and Todd and everything, this is what we do. We put these bridges out. If without these bridges, we can't, they can't, no, the fishermen won't be able to get out on the lake. So uh, what, are you, what are you guys doing right well, now? What we'll do is we pick these bridges up, we, we block them up so they don't, when they don't, when it snows, they don't uh, pack full of snow and the guy, people can still see them because every time it snows out here, these get packed full of snow and then you can't see them. So we put wood underneath them and, uh, and then we can move them quicker too because they get, when they get buried in, you have to chop them out. Sometimes it takes us about an hour to move a bridge okay. when it get a lot of snow. And I want to talk about, you have pine trees. Uh, for beginning fishermen going out for the very first time, what should they know about these pine trees? Okay, these, all the fishing clubs have a tree line, they call it. It's old-fashioned GPS is what it is. <laughs> if you take that tree, there's a tree every tenth of a mile, and <clears throat> every, and then a mile, there's a big tree, and then two miles, there's two trees, and three miles, there's three trees, and so on. These trees, it, it leans, if this tree leans towards shore, that means it's that shore is that way, okay? And then if, if it's laying down, if we lay a tree down, that means to stay away. We move the bridge, we put a tree so they can't drive over where we move the bridge from. So down, stay away. Down, stay away. Okay. Down, and stay away. And, and I do have to say something, Emily. Yeah, Don. I can't believe you're just sitting <laughs> in a desk and not out here in the cold. Don, the reason I don't, I'm not, I'm glad I'm not out there because usually when Don and I are live together, it's like negative 30. Pauline, tell him that because he'll know. Negative 30 oh, is usually okay. when we're together. So she says usually when she's out here with you, it's usually like negative 30. Pretty much. <laughs> it's the last always couple cold. times. Yep. Yep. Always cold. She always says it's windy. Always cold. Always oh, cold. It's always it. cold. But, I had her in the water once, so yeah. She jumped in the water. One, uh, she was a real trooper. Oh, uh, okay. Tell him I say hi. Uh, I miss him and have fun out there, okay? <laughs> Emily says hi, and she misses you. Have fun out there. <laughs> we will. This, these, if we couldn't, now remember, these, all of us are volunteers. Uh -huh. we, just, we don't get any money. All right. It's all volunteers. But you're helping us keep everyone safe out here. Right, and just tell all, the, you know, everybody that comes out here fishing, donate to your local fishing club. <laughs> good, good advice. There you go, guys. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye, Don.